So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the Picasso eyeliner, as Patrick Starr called it, from the Benefit Brow Tutorial. Um, so yeah, this was super requested from you guys, and uh, here it is. OP delivers. Okie dokie, so I'm going to start by applying my MAC Paint Pot in soft ochre all over the lid. This is going to prime my eyes so my shadows don't crease, and it's also going to cancel out any discoloration that I might have in my lid. So I just take like a pretty big fucking brush to get that done quickly, and I just apply it all over. You don't want to apply too much of this, um, or it will do the opposite effect, and it will crease your shadows like crazy, and nobody wants that, so just, you know, avoid that, unless you want creasy shadows, in which case don't avoid it, and um, you'll have excellently creasy shadows. Just being careful around my little my little brow. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a skin tone colored eyeshadow and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that, apply, <laughs> apply that all over the lid. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to essentially set quote unquote that eye primer and it's going to make it easier to blend out other colors later. So if you find that sometimes you try to apply like, I don't know, a cut crease or whatever, and when you put the dark shadow on, it's super hard to blend out. Try doing a base shadow underneath, and it might help you a lot. Or it might not help you at all. Who knows? So I'm just taking my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color and this color, and I'm going to mix them together and apply them into my crease as my transition shade. So I'm just taking a big fluffy brush, and basically you want to stay off of the lid and just apply it into the crease and kind of blend it up towards the brow bone. Transition colors are going to help when you're applying kind of like a darker shadow or any shadow really. It's basically, again, just like laying down a foundation so that when you go to blend in your deeper shadow colors, it's not going to be all crazy. It's just gonna be like, yeah, I'll hang out there and like I'll just chill and blend nicely now for you. That's what it's gonna do. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take just kind of like these darker brown shades and mix them together on this little bitty brush here that I love so much. And I'm just going to listen to cars honk outside. I'm just taking those two colors together and I'm just going to create a little bit of an outer V here. So just blending it into the outer corner, not going too crazy. Taking about halfway onto the lid. Holy crap, it's so freaking hot in here. I'm literally sweating my balls off, you guys. I'm just taking a slightly bigger brush and blending that out. Um, but yeah, we live in like a high-rise building and of course it doesn't have central air conditioning because why would I have something reasonable like that? So it gets super freaking hot in the summertime here, but we can't have the door open because then the cat goes out on the ledge and like walks into other people's apartments and then we get a knock on the door and they're like, hey, your dumb cat is like chilling in my apartment. So. We just basically have to die of heat stroke every day of our lives. Fish food problems. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take the black shade from that palette on my little brush again, and I'm just going to deepen that outer corner a little bit more. And I mean, you can make this as intense or light as you want it to be, and honestly, you don't even have to do the neutral shadows if you don't want to. Um, I just like it because I think it kind of makes like a a nice contrast, I guess. The juxtaposition is wonderful. <laughs> and just taking my bigger brush and blending that up. Now for the fun part. I'm going to be taking Anastasia uh, Waterproof Cream Color in Ice Blue, which is the most majestic color ever. And I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Fine Liner Brush, and I'm basically just going to load this color up. Load it up. And I'm going to apply it like I would any other liner. I can't really remember what this look was. Oh yeah, never mind, I got it. So yeah, I'm making this pretty thick. Sometimes if it's not quite opaque enough as you want it, that was a little bit of a weird sentence, but anyways, if it's not quite as opaque as you would like it, um, you can just let it set a little bit and then go back over it with another layer and kind of build up the color. Sometimes with pastel-y colors like this, basically the more white that a product has in it, so like pastels and neons and stuff like that, they tend to be a little bit patchier during application. Um, so that same thing for liquid lipsticks and stuff like that. So yeah, there's a fun fact for you, but it's just really simply dealt with 
basically just wait it out and apply it over top. Now I applied a little bit of Sugar Pill Lumi over top of this just for the lulls. Give it kind of like an iridescent finish. Oh yes, I remember now why I did that. It just kind of adds a little bit more dimension to the liner as if we needed any. It kind of takes it from being like, oh, that's a really cool liner to like, wow, are you Jesus? Sort of, pretty close. Mm. Mm. Okay, I just have to quickly reference my own picture here for a moment. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and I'm putting it onto a palette first and then I'm gonna take this little bitty liner brush and I'm going to start doing my thing. So I'm gonna start by just making a really thin line all the way across. Oh, it's not as thin as I want it to be. What am I doing? Uh. So you're basically just doing your liner as you normally would, but with the amount of caution you would take holding a newborn child. Patience is a virtue with this one. And then what I'm gonna do with a very, very small amount of liner on my brush is I'm going to go on the top here and I'm just going to connect the end of those and then I'm pretty sure I did a little line through it like this. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I did. And just taking that same little brush and the Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color in yellow, I'm going to apply a little detail right here. I basically just applied like a little bit of yellow in a makeshift rectangle shape. And then I'm also going to apply that to the waterline. Whoa. Oh God! I'll deal with it in a second. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a black and dark brown mixed, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the lower lash line. Just about halfway in. And then I'm gonna take a slightly fluffier brush with a lighter brown, and I'm just going to kind of smoke that out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes and mascara and we will be done. So this is the finished look. So that's everything you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something cool today. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments below and I will get back to you. All right, peace out.